You need to know this before you think about doing Invisalign, Smile Direct Club, or any other clear aligner. Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Ryan Packard. I'm in Anna and McKinney, Texas, and I'm here to tell you something super duper important about clear aligners. What are clear aligners? Well, this, you've seen this before. <laughs> it's like from Kung Fu Panda. Oh, you know this move, you know this move. The whooshy finger. Well, this is a clear aligner, okay? Historically, orthodontists have used these like for retainers, which is to hold the teeth. And most of movement of teeth was done with braces, the metal braces. You know what I'm talking about. Well, orthodontists started to experiment more and more, and now we have huge companies that produce basically clear looking retainers that are built to move your teeth. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about how they do it. You can check out other videos about how the aligners work, how they move teeth, but basically this. Invisalign, other products that are related to clear aligners, like a do-it-yourself company, Smile Direct Club, they send it to you. Anyways, folks are doing these because they're like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. And it really is cool. Okay. I mean, seriously, 3D printed and you just like pop it in and it moves your teeth a little bit. Well, there are lots of advantages associated with using clear aligners to straighten your teeth, especially if it's not very like a significant change that you're going for or need. But the reality is, is despite all of the advantages, there's one thing that I think surprises people when they do the Invisalign or when they do some other clear aligner product is that it takes a lot of effort. I'm sorry, what? So here is the brutal fact for you who is preparing for Invisalign and or some other clear aligner product. If you do not wear the product as instructed 20 plus hours a day for several days, weeks, months, maybe even years, it will not work predictably. And you have spent your money to get a result that is maybe less ideal than what you could have got if you would have just done braces. Okay, now you're like, Dr. Packard, you said that Invisalign is super cool and can do a lot of cool things that the braces can. Yes, it can. But the key difference is in the compliance, in using it the way that it's supposed to, not just popping it in and kind of pushing it up a little bit and, and then taking it out a lot for snacking. Yeah, I do feel a little guilty. You've got to be committed. If you're not committed to the program, like a born identity, born identity, born, born legacy, identity, supremacy, born identity. Will you commit to this program? That's basically what I'm saying to you. When you're getting ready to do these aligners, I love them. They're awesome for me and they can be awesome for you. It's just that if you were going for the gold, will you commit to this program? You've got to be committed. And you're like, well, what if it's just like to straighten my teeth? Same thing. Braces get put on each tooth and they're supposed to stay there. You know, sometimes they break off, especially if you're not, if you're eating what you're not supposed to eat. Those of you eating candy or sometimes other foods that can break the brackets, right? There's no set rule on what can and can't break them, but they break sometimes. But assuming they stay on, right? Assuming they stay on, which they should, all right? Those wires in the brackets make up the braces. They're continuously moving your teeth. Well, the only thing that moves your teeth with Invisalign or other clear aligner products is the trays. If you don't have the trays in your mouth, then they won't line up the teeth. So this is what happens. Let's say you've got lots of things going on. You got some crooked teeth. You got some spaces. You've got overjet. Check out our other videos. What people call overbite. We call overjet. Let's say you've got all those things, right? Just really complicated. And in the braces and the Invisalign, Okay. In both situations, in order to fix the bite, you're probably going to have to use rubber bands, which will require you to be compliant, to commit to the program. You've got to wear the rubber bands or you won't fix the bite, or you've got to switch to some other device like a Herbs appliance that gets glued in and that can try to help things out. But let's say that you are, you have to wear, you're, you're choosing to wear rubber bands. So in order to fix the bite, whether you do it with Invisalign or the braces, you're going to be wearing the rubber bands. Well, if you don't do the rubber bands, then what do you have left? Well, you have the braces and you have the trays. So your bite's not getting fixed because you're not wearing the rubber bands. And so Truthfully. And you just got these tools, these appliances in your mouth to try and straighten your teeth. Well, what happens if you don't wear the trays? Well, now if you chose Invisalign, you have an uncorrected bite and your teeth aren't as straight as they could be. If you do the braces, right? If you decide not to wear the rubber bands, which I think you should wear the rubber bands. It's non-negotiable. Just to be clear, hopefully you're not breaking the brackets and those teeth will at least be straight because they're in your mouth. You can't take them out and we have improved some aspect of your bite. Okay. You're like, Dr. Packard, it sounds like you're pushing braces. Well, because I don't know exactly how well you will do with complying, it does make a little bit of sense that to get straight teeth in a very predictable way, braces might be the option. Now, if you want to come to me or your provider and say, hey, I am committed to this program. I want to do it. I promise I am fully 
committed. Then you can get, like I said, similar results to the braces. There are people, folks out there, professionals that are doing awesome things with Invisalign and other Clearliner products, but it's in those individuals that are compliant with the trace. So I love both tools. We use tons of them. We use tons of Invisalign in the office. We use tons of braces in the office and they both can do great things. But it's frustrating when you realize that it's a lot of work for to get the straight teeth because you've got to do what you need to do. You've got to wear the trays. How many times must I tell you? I may have just recently experienced several patients who won't wear the trays and I'm just like sad and frustrated. Like if you would just wear them, it would look awesome, but they won't. And sometimes they think they're doing enough. They're like, I'm wearing it. Really? And it's like 15 to 16, 17 hours a day, which is a lot, but it's not enough. Most predictable results, you've got to pretend like they're staying in your mouth like the braces. The braces never come out. Well, you've got to treat the Invisalign like that, and then you'll get the same kind of results. If you want the same results as the braces, then you've got to treat your Invisalign or your clear liners like the braces, at least in the amount of time that you wear them. So if you like this video of me getting after you, it feels like I was getting after you. I'm not angry. I just want you to know before you choose to do it, I'm all about doing it. I'm all about the Invisalign. I think it's awesome, like I said, but I just want to make sure that you're aware before you jump into it, you are committed. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have an experience with clear liners and switching to braces or being committed to the Invisalign the whole time in your experience, whether it was good or bad, feel free to leave a comment below and consider subscribing to the channel so that I can continue to open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth, beautiful bites, the importance of wearing your aligners all the time and or braces. So before you start your Invisalign or you pay for a smile direct or something, whatever you're thinking about doing, you better make sure sure that you are in it to win it so that you can get straight teeth and a beautiful bite. That's all I've got. Just a little PFO in so you know where you're going.